Hello, my name is Frank Hannaway and welcome to Big Journey Small Steps. I'm going to make this a very short video. Things are going really well. Um, Mom's health is improving and improving enough that we're probably going to move into an assisted living community within the next few days. I'm hopeful if, if the room is ready. But I just thought she everybody loves her at rehab and um, because she's so feisty and she tries to be non-cooperative, but she ends up cooperating. But there's this one thing she does that we all just get so tickled about. So she told me the other day, she said, there's only one thing I want. We were we were sitting in the lobby. I took her in a wheelchair to the lobby and we sat there because we want to keep her up. She's already had pneumonia and we don't want her to relapse and she needs to be sitting up so her lungs don't fill up with fluid. So I said, well, what is that, sweetheart? What What's the only thing you care about? And she said, getting in the bed. So it's kind of a joke in the rehab center because she goes, if we leave her in the wheelchair, she goes looking for a bed. So I bought her a number of sets of really brightly colored pajamas so we can always find her easily. Because, um, for example, when I leave in the morning, um, she may be in between therapies. She has She'll have a shower and then physical therapy and occupational therapy and speech therapy and therapy therapy, you know. But in between waiting times, what they do sometimes is put her up uh, in her wheelchair by the nurse's station. Um, and because if she's in her room where nobody can see her, she's likely, probably going to try to get up and get in bed, which I think at this point she can do, but we're, we don't want any falls. So they put her there by the nurse's station, but she'll wheel herself, sometimes with the wheels locked, which how she does that, I don't know. She will wheel herself down the hall and look for an empty bed. And um, I tell her, I say, you know, that's not your bed. You only get one bed here and that's not it. But she can't find her room, even though she's right next door to it. She can't find it, but she goes and looks for something else. The, the way this started was I would be wheeling her down the hallway to her next therapy or whatever, and suddenly I'd see her, her very bony hand just reach up and grab a door jam and and the wheelchair would come to a screeching halt and she'd say, look, there's one. And you'd look in and there was a bed made with nobody in it. So anyway, she is just so precious. Everybody is enjoying her. And I think she's getting healthy enough that she'll be able to move. And I'm preparing her for that. And I think she'll be very happy. One of the troubles is when you're in rehab is the nurse to patient ratio is very high. I don't, e I don't even want to know what it really is. But when she gets to this new place, it'll be two to six during the day and one to six at night. One nurse for six people at night and two nurses for six people during the day. That's pretty awesome. It really is. So anyway, um, I just wanted you to know I'm fine and uh, I'm over my bronchitis. Mom is over her pneumonia. Looks like we're on the mend for the time being. So I'd like to thank you for taking time and thank you for caring. And from the bottom of my heart, I wish you peace and joy.